Hey, weirdos, and welcome back to the uh, to the the triumphant return of the Weird Scope. Oh wow! <laughs> I obviously. Well, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bring back the weird scope looking like this. Hang on, hang on a second. Oh yeah, that's that's much better. <laughs> wow. Uh, hey weirdos. Uh, you know, by the way, I have searched everywhere, and I just cannot find uh, Nat King Cole's St. Patrick's Day album. Hey weirdos, uh, please do me a favor. Hey, it's uh, it's Mizzou. Hey Mizzou, and Pepper Scar is here. How you doing, guys? Uh, please, uh, now that you're here, uh, invite your 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 friends, your followers, to join me. And oh my gosh, look how red my eyes are. I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna go get some. Uh, I'm gonna go get some Visine. And thank you for the hearts too. Hold on two seconds. I'll be right back. I had no idea. I don't want to be ugly for you guys, right? I mean, because that would be awful, right? I mean, I know I'm ugly enough as it is with you guys, but uh, I don't want to be real ugly. So let me let me take care of this. So uh, welcome to the Weird Scope. This is uh, actually I haven't done the Weird Scope in a while, but I'm bringing it back. Um, and it's this is the new and improved Weird Scope. Now, there's really nothing new or improved about it, um, except for the name. But, you know, we got to do something to increase morale around here. So, uh, we're calling it New and Approved. Um, but anyway, uh, welcome to the Weird Scope. I'm going to try to do this a little bit more. A little bit more. Happy St. Patty's Day to you as well, Randy. I appreciate that. Now, for those of you who are... Oh, by the way, uh, let me explain the weirdos thing. What I call people weirdos, for those of you who are new... Um, that has something to, thank you for the hearts. Uh, weirdos is, uh, it's, it's a, uh, it's a nice term. It's a loving term for those who are my fans and you wonder where weirdos comes from. It's actually from my YouTube channel, which is, um, you can find that at daily at, uh, darrenmarler.com, but I've got my weird darkness and then my daily dose of weird news. So hence weird is in both titles. So my fans are now weirdos. And so now this is the weird scope. And I got a few other things coming on the channel, on my YouTube channel as well, that will also be somewhat weird, but uh, we'll we'll wait for another day uh, on that. So, uh, uh, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're a weirdo. Yes, you are, Randy, but you were a weirdo before I ever started the weirdos. You were just weird anyway. Uh, <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to be wondering, why is he talking to these people? Who are these people? This is Periscope. I'm, I'm actually broadcasting this on Periscope. So I've got people talking to me with a little pop-ups, and I'm thanking people for their hearts, like uh, Randy just gave me right there. Thank you very much. If you're on YouTube, you don't see that stuff. So you think I'm just talking to nobody right now. Now, if you're on Periscope, and, and by the way, if you, if you are on YouTube and you want to join me on the Periscope, just be sure to follow me at periscope.tv slash Darren Marlar, and you can find me there for the next Weird Scope. If you're watching this on Periscope, well, then you already know that it's periscope.tv slash Darren Marlar because you're here and you're probably thinking, why is he telling us something we already know? So anyway, uh, today's uh, Weird Scope is brought to you by Five Hour Energy. Um, Randy knows how much I rely on this. Uh, no, they're not paying me. Uh, but I am kind of relying on them today. It's been one of those days. This is the extra strength one. Uh, not because I prefer it over the other, but just because it's what I happen to have available. Now, if you follow me on Facebook, by the way, uh, you'll know, uh, during a comic, yes, yes, I've, I've, uh, supplied a few of these to Randy at the comic cons. Uh, they come in handy, don't they? Uh, now for those of you who follow me on Facebook, uh, which is facebook.com slash Darren Marlar. So I, I try to keep things easy that way. You know that I actually talk about uh, power energy quite often. And again, it's not a paid endorsement. They have no idea that I even exist probably, I'm sure, but I use them a lot. And here, in fact, let me show you how often I use five hour energy. Yes, I actually have this in my on-air, my, uh, my uh, studio, and you can see that uh, the top rack is already empty once a month, sometimes more often than that, 
uh, Robin went out and bought, uh, she went to Sam's Club and bought a five-hour energy box, not realizing it. Actually, yeah, I understand, Brandy. So if you have to get back on the road, I'll talk to you a little bit later on. Thank you. I appreciate it. But appreciate it. But do me a favor before you leave and invite all your followers to come over. All right. So anyway. Hmm. I will admit that the other kind, the non-extra uh, strength, tastes a lot better. It works, and uh, you can feel the difference, but the other stuff tastes a whole heck of a lot better. So, uh, anyway, I don't really talk about the holidays, but there's really only one going on today. I mean, it's Green River Day in Chicago, uh, which, if you've seen that river that runs through Chicago, you might wonder if green is actually an improvement. So, uh, but yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day, obviously. Uh, and uh, on the uh, subject line of today's weird scope, I said, you know, what signs that your neighbor might be a leprechaun? Here are a few signs that your neighbor might be a leprechaun. Uh, plays in the same rec basketball league as Mini-Me. Yeah, your neighbor might be a leprechaun if they need a stepladder to reach the mailbox. Uh, they're always wearing that stupid Shamrock Cafe t-shirt. You know, it's that instead of Hard Rock, Shamrock, you, you get... Okay, never mind. Um, uh, the rain, rainbow always seems to end in his backyard. And you, your, uh, your neighbor might be a leprechaun if uh, he thinks that everybody is always after his lucky charms. So, let's take a look at a couple of the news stories. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I've got the Daily Dose of Weird News, which you can find at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. You can also find it on my website. But uh, not all the stories that I come across end up in the Daily Dose of Weird News. Here's a couple of them. Uh, scientists now say that obesity contributes to global warming. Now, the reasoning is that ob obese and overweight people... Hello... Uh, we, we apparently require more fuel to transport us and the food that we eat. And so the problem is going to just get worse as we continue to pork out. Of course, they're saying this also adds to food shortages and higher energy prices. And all I can say about this is apparently Al Gore has now become his own worst enemy. Have you seen that guy? He's huge now as compared to the way he used to be. Uh, also, Philadelphia's University of Sciences, they discovered that ingesting four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil a day, well, that provides pain relief similar to taking ibuprofen, especially if it's administered in a big plate of lasagna. Am I right? Huh? Yeah. Okay, okay, anyway. That's just a couple of the stories that did not make today's Daily Dose of Weird News, but I've got a lot of stories posted every day on the Daily Dose of Weird News uh, Facebook page. And also at dailydoseofweirdnews.com, where you can find the Facebook page. You can also get the app, uh, so you can uh, you know check out check it out and uh, get the daily uh, YouTube videos on that as well, and the podcast and everything else. You can find that all at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. If you're a Ghost Stories fan, uh, something I'm doing right now that's become very popular is my Weird Darkness, where uh, every Tuesday and Saturday I uh, tell ghost stories, paranormal stories, and most of the time, about 90% 90, 90 of the time, they're true stories. Um, in fact, uh, I just posted one a couple of days ago, and I have eight different stories in this episode. Uh, go to WeirdDarkness.com, and you can find it there. Uh, this week's episode is kind of a fun title. It's called... What are you going to do? Shoot a ghost? Uh, but that's this week's if you want to go check it out. So uh, I'm going to let you go. I'm, I'm going to try to keep the weird the weird scopes uh, short as, as much as I can. I did have somebody, however, ask me if I could give a tour of the, of uh, Marler Manor, uh, where I work here. and Because uh, obviously you guys really only see me in this room, and that's about it. But uh, I'm not going to do that just yet. I'll tell you what, I will wait. Uh, once I get 5,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel... Then I'll give everybody a tour of Marler Manor, and you might even be able to meet my bride.